uh, hi everyone so in this video we'll be discussing the problem a from the latest court forces round 745 division 2 so let's read the problem statement so the problem says that uh, uh, this guy uh, about I don't know what his name is so is counting permutations length of 2n right so the permutations that he is counting are of length 2n and let us read the definition for the permutations so he says that a permutation is an array consisting of n distinct integers from 1 to n in any order so if if you have a permutation of length n so that means all the elements all the elements from 1 to n should be present and they can be in any order for example in this permutation 2 3 1 5 and 4 each element from 1 to 5 is present there and they are present in any order right so this means that it is a permutation but uh, 1 2 and 2 this is not a permutation because the size is 3 so what should have happened is it should uh, have contained 1 2 and 3 but 2 is repeating here uh, so that is why this is not a permutation uh, also like 1 3 2 could have been a permutation but 1 2 2 is not a permutation then 1 3 4 1 3 4 is not a permutation because the length is 3 n is 3 but here what is happening is you do not have a you do not have a uh, you should not have a 4 you should be having a 2 here then only you can have a permutation of length 3 right so uh, permutation of length p will be counted only if number of i satisfying pi is less than pi plus 1 and it should not be less than n right so what is happening is i'll tell you so basically if you have a permutation let's say the permutation is uh, let's say the permutation is p uh, pi pi plus 1 and this is this, in this way you have uh, numbers uh, uh, before it and after it what is happening is uh, you should uh, the, so the permutation in this permutation you are counting number of pi's which uh, are less than i plus 1 so if you have a element at the uh, at the left so this its adjacent element to the right should be greater than it right and you are counting that and the count of such elements in the permutation should be greater or equal to n right so the count of such elements the count of such uh, this can be a situation like what can happen is let's say suppose p1 p2 p3 and up till pn this can be the case so what will happen is uh, there should be there should exist pairs there should exist at least n pairs uh, this this length is of 2n this length is of 2n right so pi pi plus 1 and pi should be less than pi plus 1 and you should have at least uh, greater or equal to n total number of such pairs should be total number of su such adjacent pairs should be uh, greater or equal to n uh, then only it will be considered uh, it will be ca counted then only it will be considered right so uh, you have to count such permutations and then in the end you have to do modulus and uh, you have to give, write the value using mod 10 to the power 9 plus 7 right so let's look at the test case so if you have one if you have only given been given one so that is in that case you will only be printing one but uh, let's suppose that you have been given two right so if you have been given two so what will happen is if you have been given two then that means that you have one and you have two right and another permutation that you can have is two and one okay so how so how do you how do you see it so this is a permutation this is a correct permutation but this this permutation will give you zero uh, because why because uh, in this case you do not have a pi that is less than pi plus one correct uh, in this case you are not getting this but in this case pi is less than pi plus one so you are getting a count of it so this is how you will see it and what will happen is uh, there can be two cases right so there can be a case where let's suppose this is a permutation let's suppose that uh, let's suppose that this is only a permutation or let's say that 1 3 2 is a permutation then what can happen is the there can be a permutation of its reverse and that is 2 3 uh, 2 3 and 1 right so if this has k number of pairs if this has k number of pairs if this has a count if this kind of permutation has k counts uh, for for pi uh, less than pi plus 1 so then what will happen is uh, for this permutation you have 2n minus 1 pairs right you have 2n minus 1 pairs and you will subtract k from it so this is this is the number of pairs that you can have uh, this is the count that you will have for 
pi uh, for this uh, this permutation that is if you will think it like qi then for qi less than qi plus 1 you if you have for this if you have k then for the reverse permutation you will be having 2n minus 1 minus k because 2n will minus 1 will be the number of pairs and you will subtract k that is because if someone was if if a particular pi was less than less than pi plus 1 so, so now it will get the situation it will get reverse and the answer will be 2n minus 1 minus k similarly what uh, what you we can observe is uh, that uh, uh, either you will be taking uh, you will be taking either of the permutations and in this what is happening is uh, either the first uh, first uh, first kind of permutation can be counted or the second kind of permutation can be counted right if this is a, if this is a permutation then either this can be counted or its reverse can be counted right so what what you can see is you can observe that the total number of permutations will be 2 and factorial correct and in that you will be dividing it by 2 the reason for dividing it by 2 is because uh, for a particular permutation and its reverse you will be taking either of the two right so that is why your number of permutations 2 and factorial will be divided by 2 because your uh, number of permutations that you will be counting will be reduced by half right so this is the solution i'll just quickly uh, show you my code implementation so what i have done is i have used bin power as well uh, people uh, some people didn't use it but i thought it was safe to use it so what i did was uh, first of all i initialized my factorials and then i initialized my factorial of 0 to 1 then i calculated the factorial including the mod then what i what i had to do was i had i had to uh, divide it by 2 right so what is happening is if you if you are uh, calculating factorials then usually what you do is uh, you have 2 and factorial by 2 that is correct but you have to also take mod so since you have to take mod so you you use a uh, you use a concept that is bin power uh, or that is binary, binary exponentiation because when you are dividing so you cannot take mod this is the constraint so this is how I have implemented the code. So we'll provide you with the code in the description. So thanks a lot everyone for watching. And uh, in case if you have any doubt, then you can reach out to me uh, in the comments and I'll answer you as soon as possible. Thanks a lot.